the market is so emotional is because it combines two things that you care about the most. The reason the market is so emotional, it's because it combines two things you care about the most. Number one, money. Number two, you. Those are the two things that many people, especially in finance, you're concerned with and you care about the most at that moment. Yes, I know. I know we care about our families. And for those who have other things, their worship or philanthropic activities, that's really what they care about. But while the market is running, while you're plugged in, there's only two things that you really are concerned with. Number one, money. Number two, you. Well, those two things are emotional by themselves. So we're talking about the psychology now of trading. Those two things, the money is the emotional side, but you as a person, you are emotional. You have emotions. Uh, you don't have emotions? Okay, take a loss and let us hear all the whining. Yeah, I'm losing. I'm losing. Yeah, okay. Or how about you get a win? I got a thousand percent, right? All of that, right? It's emotional. That's why the market is such a challenge because it takes the two motion, the two most emotional elements and they're now one. It's you and the money and you're trading and you got nobody else to blame. You got nobody else to point the finger at, nobody else to say, oh man, you made me. You. We love to blame people. We love to blame people or blame something else, don't we? Makes it easy, right? Makes it really easy. But when you're sitting in a room by yourself in front of a computer, that's why you're so dejected because you got nobody to blame. You are faced with your faults. And this, many people, they're not necessarily in, a, in an environment that helps them address and look at their faults. Very few people, all, all you got to do is think about this before day trading. Did you keep a journal? Did you ever keep a journal to improve? Some people did. Most people don't. Most people don't. They don't keep a tracking method to improve themselves. Do they? they don't write down their goals. They, they're not list makers. And so now what you're, what, what you're experiencing is the emotional side of getting better. Because every single day, you're just hammered with this problem. Like, man, I keep doing it. Has it ever happened to you? Like, you know, you shouldn't have entered that trade, but you got in anyway. And as soon as you got in, you're like, why did I get in that trade? Has that ever happened to you? Then I'm going to hit you with the headline. You have a problem and you have not clearly defined it. You're running from it. You're dancing around it. You haven't clearly defined it. There's a blanket there. It's like, oh, I think I'm greedy or I chase. That's not the problem. Why are you greedy? Why did you check? There, there's something deeper there. And I'm telling you, the psychology matters. There's something deeper there. That's why I, I typically do not put traders on a trade plan until I know something about you. I got to know something about you. We got to we, I got to kick it with you. We got to trade for a while. I can't just be like, OK, do X, Y, and Z. That's, not, that's disrespectful to the market. It's disrespectful to you. And that's not how it works. But when I know what's blocking you, because I've certainly have been there. When I know what's blocking you, I can structure a trade plan to help you. But only you really know you. So when you have these little issues and problems, you have to get deeper. The reason the market is so tough is because it combines the two most emotional elements, money and you. And you got nobody else to blame. So what we do in this discord, what I do in training is I break them down. The first thing is we have to get you to separate the money. How do we do that? We give you parameters to track and treat each trade like an exercise. That's how we do it. The second thing is we work on you. Every day you plug into a system, you plug into a coaching, KD's, the vibe is right, the music is on. We, I'm changing your mental and your pattern when it comes to trading every day. For those who are in the killer wells, every day I do the same thing. Some of you guys never drank tea. Now you're drinking tea. Every single day, we do the same thing. What is it doing? It's changing the mental pattern of the trader. Now you combine those two, 
and the two most emotional things now and can become the two most focused, the two most disciplined things. But I am telling you from experience in life, in the market, it will not happen by osmosis. You will, you will never get better by happenstance. Just go, oh, let me just, no. You have to address the problem, formulate a plan, hold yourself accountable, and execute. Now I'll wrap it up with this. And you know this story pretty well. There was a man walking down the street and uh, he saw an old man and a hound dog laying on the porch. Old man sitting in his rocking chair, just rocking away. And the hound dog was laying on the porch. And before the, the man could even get to the house, he heard the hound dog howling, howling. And the old man was just in his rocking chair, just rocking quiet. As he got closer and closer to each step towards the house, he could hear the hound dog. He'd look over at the old man. Old man wouldn't say nothing. All you heard was in the rocking chair. Finally, as this man got up to the house, he walked up to the porch. He said, sir, what's wrong with your dog? The man said, oh, he's just laying on a nail. The man said, well, why wouldn't he get off the nail? The old man said, when it hurts bad enough, he'll move. When you get sick and tired of taking these losses, and not disciplining yourself. When it becomes that uncomfortable, for some people, that's the only time they change. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. Discipline yourself now. Let's go to work next week. KDW signing out.